the Philippine Air Force has raised the requirement for new heavy tactical transport aircraft to beef up its fleet. As requirements for air transport have increased, while air assets are aging and dwindling in numbers and operational availability. The Philippine Air Force proceeded to submit their requirements to the Department of National Defense for the acquisition of additional aircraft under the brand new Additional Transport Aircraft Acquisition Project. In this video, we will see the Transport Aircraft Acquisition Project and see the capabilities of these brand new air assets. The Philippine Air Force has needed new heavy tactical transport aircraft to complement its aging and a dwindling fleet of Lockheed C-130 Legacy Hercules aircraft. The last time the Philippine Air Force received brand new C-130 was in 1976 to 1977, when the Marcos administration acquired four new Lockheed C-130H Hercules from the U.S. Of those four, only one aircraft remain at this time. Before this project, the Philippine Air Force has been receiving or buying refurbished legacy C-130 Hercules transport aircraft from the U.S. But these have not been enough, considering the Philippine Air Force has been losing C-130 due to crashes or accidents, or due to poor maintenance. Out of the five refurbished C-130 Hercules received in the last 20 years, only two are still in working condition. The Philippine Air Force was looking at acquiring larger aircraft, particularly strategic airlift aircraft to improve its capability to carry a heavier load over longer distances as part of its proposed strategic airlift aircraft acquisition project. But due to the lack of numbers in its C-130 fleet, the plan was shelved in favor of acquiring slightly smaller aircraft like the C-130 or equivalent. In 2019, the Philippine Air Force sent out a request for information to global manufacturers. By June 2020, Lockheed Martin provided their reply with a proposal for five new C-130J-30. It is a stretched version of the C-130J Super Hercules, which was proposed based on the capacity required by the Philippine Air Force. The Airbus proposals under the Strategic Airlift Aircraft Acquisition Project for two Airbus AE-400M Atlas aircraft. Other aircraft looked at by the Philippine Air Force are the Embraer KC-390 Millennium, and the Kawasaki C-2. The Kawasaki C-2 is competing against Airbus AE-400M in the Strategic Airlift Aircraft Project. In the third quarter of 2020, the project was approved for implementation, with a proposed budget of 37 billion pesos for five aircraft, selecting Lockheed Martin's Super Hercules C-130J-30, including an integrated logistics support package. The acquisition will be through direct commercial sales with Lockheed Martin, which allows the deal to be cheaper, although not supported by the U.S. government's logistics package. The funding for the initial down payment of 15% of the cost, worth around 5.5 billion pesos was requested by the Philippine Air Force and Department of National Defense to be included in the fiscal year 2021 allocation for the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program. But it was not included due to reduced prioritization of defense projects in favor of COVID-19 pandemic response expenses. In October 2021, it was proposed to be included in the 2022 funding under the Armed Forces Modernization Program. And this has been successfully included, being marketed to Congress as a humanitarian assistance and disaster relief asset.
the C130J30, is the most integrated ever designed. The most powerful ever produced. The most advanced ever operated. This aircraft is integrated with an advanced dual head-up display and multi-function display. And with the latest Link 16 software. Integrated defensive suite capabilities. Two pilot crews fitted with night vision imaging system. The C-130J-30 has an impressive and powerful engine. Using the Rolls-Royce engines, the aircraft has lightweight, strong, and easy to repair with all composite propellers. Quick engine change. Enhanced service life of the center wing. The aircraft has advanced cargo loading and delivery system. With 250 knot ramp door. Enhanced cargo handling system. Rapid conversion for enhanced mission versatility. With automated maintenance reporting. Automatic thrust control system. Dual electronic engine controller. This four engine turboprop military transport aircraft has a maximum speed of up to 660 km per hour at 22,000 feet and has a range of 3,890 km. It can cover the whole country for various kinds of missions. This aircraft can carry up to 20,227 kilograms of payload. And can carry up to 92 paratroopers, or 128 combat troops. Or can carry up to 24 container delivery system bundles to resupply units already on the ground or 97 litters with medical attendants. The cargo compartment can accommodate eight pallets, or a combination of any of these up to the cargo compartment capacity, or maximum allowable weight. The flexible design of these aircraft enables them to be configured for many different missions, allowing one aircraft to perform the role of many. Much of the special mission equipment added to this aircraft is removable, allowing the aircraft to return to its cargo delivery role if desired. This development will greatly boost the morale of troops for having a brand new and advanced aircraft in its fleet. This also builds the country's maritime domain security capacity and bolsters its airlift fleet capabilities. With the most integrated, powerful, advanced, and unmatched C-130J-30,